Hey everybody, how's it going today? I'm um, going to do something a little bit different here today. We're going to do Throwback Thursday. I, we're going to play some classic Centipede. Uh, <laughs> had to dust off some of my old collection from my Xbox, so just thought it would be a little fun to do this. Uh, we've got two versions here. There's Evolved and Classic, so I'm just going to go with Classic uh, Default Difficulty. And as always, if this is your first time stumbling upon my channel, go ahead and uh, subscribe. And leave me some comments down below. Let me know. Um, let me know what your first uh, arcade game was as a kid. If you happen to be a kid that had arcades. All right. Now this game is based basically all around bugs. You got your spiders that can basically go through everything. Your centipede, of course, which is coming down to get you, almost like a space invader faction. And, uh, yeah, spiders are pretty much death. Because they come at you sideways. Now, back in the day, you used to, this is actually the arcade version. At least the, be <laughs> the best, best rendering of it that I could possibly think of. Because it looks right for the old classic machines I used to play with the rollerball. But back in the day, I had an Atari 2600, and one of the games that I got was Centipede, because they tried to redo all of the classic arcade hits, and it came with a comic book to tell the story of Centipede, which, if you've just played the game, you just know you're a cursor, basically, that shoots up and you try to dodge Centipedes, and when you zap them, they turn into mushrooms. Well, the comic book told a story about this village of people who were being... Whoops. <laughs> One down. <laughs> being terrorized by an evil wizard. And you were one of those... You were like the, one of the children of that place. And he had... Basically, they were little bitty people that lived... Kind of like Smurfs. They lived in little... Well, they weren't quite small like Smurfs. They didn't live in uh, mushrooms, but... It was related to mushrooms. Uh, and you, but they were very tiny people because obviously centipedes and other bugs were bigger than they were and they were friends with most of them. Hey, I got a free guy. Okay, so that's the scorpion right there going across. He poisons the mushrooms and basically they, uh, they'll disappear after so many turns. <laughs> Oh, dang it. Which kind of screws up your walkway if you do it. See, like, you usually what you try to do is build up a spot there where you can kind of get them to come down. And then, of course, you got the flea that comes down. He's kind of a pain in the butt. Especially when it comes right at you. But not as deadly as those darn spiders. <laughs> but yeah, the comic book was actually pretty cool. It was done well. It came with the game when you bought it for the 2600, and it told about this little crud. It told about this little kid who, who, had, who was friends with all the bugs, and you know the scorpion, the centipede, and uh, he actually he, he he finds the evil wizard, and he winds up stealing his wand out of his lair. Well, to defend, he's trying to defend his, trying to defend his. Ouch. Yep. There we go. Oh, look at my high score. That Oh, I get to put in my initials. All right. But he gets there to defend his town from the bugs that have been hypnotized into working for the wizard. And he's zapping him with the magic rod, which turns them all into mushrooms. And then at the end of the story, basically he turns them all back. So, but it was kind of a cool story. Uh, we're gonna try this one more time here. Now that I'm all warmed up, <laughs> we'll see if I can beat my high score. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> so that little cursor at the bottom, I always thought it kind of looked like a. Out. 
a crossbow or something, but it's supposed to be a guy holding a magic wand. Of course, on the Atari version, it's just a square, but... <laughs> They did their best for what they had at the time. All right. Now, usually what I like to try to do, there we go. I like to try to get them all in one. Shot for the flea. I like to try to get them all in one shot. So we're all coming down to the same spot. You can zap them pretty good, but that, <laughs> that plan doesn't always work out. Eight spiders. <laughs> Especially when they get all fast like Ted. <laughs> Woo. Woo. There. <laughs> Come at me sideways, spider. There's a scorpion. Got him. Okay. I can't see my shots. I don't like that about the dark, the black backgrounds. Of course, what makes this kind of unique for, like, a Space Invader type game, once they reach the bottom, they start getting back up. Spider again! Nope, didn't get to put my initials in that time. Alright, let's rev it up. Let's put it on Throttle Monkey. Uh, we're talking severely fast now. My best suggestion for this is a standstill. You'll eventually get it to where you're going to get a really high score. Provided the spiders... Let's do it again. Provided the spiders don't just zoom in on you. Sometimes it takes a life or two to really get it set up. Yeah, it's another thing about the spiders that's kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, one more. <laughs> As they're jumping through, they can take away mushrooms, so it kind of sets up your... Or I should say destroys your maze. They're going so fast, I can't even keep track of the bugs. There we go, we're getting centralized. Just keep that spider off of me. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Everything's speeded up, including sound effects. Oh, wasn't, wasn't a bad run. Alright, just for fun, let's try the Evolve version. Okay, this one, the bugs look a little more 3D. And your little guy at the bottom looks like he's holding a giant crossbow. Which deviates from the comic story. <laughs> the mushrooms look like they turn sideways when you hit them. They kind of kneel over. Uh. I'll say the graphics. The graphics are pretty cool on this Megaloo game 3D, but... It does not... <laughs> Happy 4th of July! <laughs> yep. Does not help with the dodge factor at all. Also, those legs on the centipede kind of creep me out a bit. And the sound effects are, like, really... <laughs> okay, the spiders weren't good before. I don't like them, but... I definitely don't like them with really long legs. Bad centipede! Wrong way. Woo! Almost got hit with that spider. I don't think I've ever seen fleas on this one. I used to play this a lot. I, I've, over the years, I've picked up quite a few. Ouch. The classic arcade games. Uh, when they would go on sale on the Xbox and the Xbox 360. Because I used to enjoy playing them in the arcades. Ow. All right, we'll give it another run. <laughs> All right, 
pretty well too when they come out with uh, like an updated version of the game as long as they've got somewhere in it where it's got the classic because I like that I like doing that um, I actually wanted to, there was a Pong that came out for the PlayStation 1 one time and they had an updated it was an updated version but after you beat like after you beat the whole game you got to the very end the last level once you beat that it unlocked Classic Pong which was cool to have. Now you may be asking, why would you want Classic Pong? Well, so you challenge your children and go, ha, ah, you can't beat me. <laughs> and that one's the centipede. They kicked my butt. Whoop, 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 whoop. That scorpion looks really cool. Uh, bad spider. I need an exterminator. <laughs> At least, oh, oh, no, nope, 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 nope. One, one lined up right, take the shot. <laughs> Leave me alone, spider. Stop! <laughs> and I'm always a spider. Okay, sometimes it's a flea. Sometimes it's a, it's a centipede, but... Whoop. <laughs> it's one of those decisions where it's like, do I commit and get underneath it, or... Ew! Usually it's best to not get underneath it. <laughs> I always like the way you leave a trailer with bug guts as you hit it and it splatters. <laughs> yeah, that really ups the replayability, let me tell you. No, 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 don't come down. No dive bombers. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Usually what happens once they do that, yep, then they get down here in your area and possible to dodge. <laughs> Alright, come on, bug boys. I don't think I'm breaking any hope. Oh. Oh, I'm not breaking any records today. Great score. Oh, I think I beat my my high for the day here. All right, let's try that throttle monkey. Same, whoop, same strategy. We'll sit still. <laughs> Sound effects are booming. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see this with the clarity I've got. <laughs> Give it again. I think it works out pretty well. So the fact right there at the end, they really, they really get you. Thank you, Spider, for clearing some of those. <laughs> Boom. All right, guys. Well, that was Centipede. Just a flashback there from a time gone by. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this and uh, leave me a like. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know the game. Like I said, what what was your first arcade game? What were any arcade games you tend to enjoy in the or back in the day when they had arcades? Anyway, I thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.